Hello mentors, in this video we will learn how we can connect MIT Apple Mentor to MySQL. Till now we have completed that first part. We already have created first part where we have learned how we can insert data using MIT Apple Mentor into MySQL database. In this part we will learn how we can fetch the data, it means read, how we can delete the data and how we can update the data. So till now we have completed this screen, okay, and now this one is completed. Now let me just go to the update screen. So we need to just go to the vertical arrangement 3 here and that's our word update screen. Now we have to code for this. So here you can see we have file. So let me just open all these file in VS code. Okay. I will give you all that files link in the description and you can see that is the delete file and that's the insert read and update. So let me just click on that update.php. Everything is same here, but the thing is like we have to just update the query like we have to just change that query update student It's my table name. Make sure you have to change your, your own table name students. It's my table name You can see that's my table name is here students So you can change your name according to you and you can see set name equal number and email ID and where ID is something like that So what we will do we will set the ID and we have to update the email number and the email number and the name now we need to upload that update file in our file manager to do that first we need to enter the host name database username database password and database name so we have one file here that one is in our file manager is insert.php we already have created that file let me just open that file to check my username password everything here and you can see the local host so let me just update that file and here the in the update in the update file so let me just upload localhost and then that's the user then that's the okay no yeah that's the user db user db username yes and then we have to update our password so that's my password here let me just copy that password from here and just copy paste and then last thing is about db name database name so let me just update that database name here and we have to update one more database name here in here that one is this is fine now just save that file control s and now we have to upload that file so that's the update.php and i have to upload that file save and close and i have to upload that file here so click on that upload file option click on upload file now we need to just drag and drop that file update.php here like this click on update upload and we just need to right click on that file click on view and just copy that url recorded at successfully so yeah we just need to go to the mit app inventor here mit app inventor and now go to the blog section and whenever someone click on that the uh, insert button update button so our button name is that is button one button update so what that button name is button seven so go to the block whenever someone click on button seven this one it means update button so we just need to firstly copy paste that whole url or you can just simply just copy paste that whole block and change that name to btn7 and change that url here and we just need to uh, write here question mark let me just make it zoom let me just delete everything here and just update this question mark here and then id and equal like this now we just need to do go to the design section that's our five text box five six seven and eight so go to the block five six seven eight so it's just simply five six seven and that's the eight cool so this will store this will call our update query okay simple now we we have done the updated part now we have to do the another one more part is like delete so how to do that so to do that we just need to go to the design again and you can see the update delete vertical arrangement is maybe this one check this no it's a read it's the scroll this one yes delete this one hide this one arrangement this one is for delete so that is the text box and that text box is called which one is that text box is text box 9 go to the block 
here and we need, just need to call button again we just need to call all the thing we don't need to call it th i think that thing we just need to call on button 9 on button 9 click we have to call one url and that is set web url or you can just pass that uh, that url here click on tag shop shown join this and we just need to use here again uh, that uh, global url and this one is here so set global this one just call it here this one join this and the url is something like that this one but we have to upload our delete file and we have to update that database also so just simply go to the here file manager here dashboard and yes we have done the update this one we have done the insert um, now we have to file delete and read so you can see the in the delete database record deleted successfully but curious delete from students where id is something like that id means we will pass the id so we just need to pass the one text box so it means that is the id so first we have to update again all the other things so let me just do one thing here just copy and paste that whole because everything is same okay uh no oh, we have to get it from that update so we have updated here cool so just copy and paste from here and go to the delete and we just need to update till here like this so we have everything here database username everything now we have to upload that file delete dot delete dot php file here so file manager click on that upload file icon then drag and drop that delete dot php here and click on upload and let me just go to the database here and click on that student button and you can see the database uh, how many entries here okay so you can see the three entries here two three and five so let me just delete that th third entry three it means the third and second entry id is three so what i will do i will pass that three so do that just need to click on that delete.php open that view this like this you can see let me just make it a question mark and then the id and equal three and just enter and you can see record deleted successfully go to the file manager and just check that it's fine or not Re uh, just refresh this and see yeah record is deleted here now we need to do insert update delete and now we need to do read how we can read that data so do that we just need to go to the again we have one more file is like this one is deleted fine insert is done and update is done now we have that read file so let me just change that database here this one copy paste and you can see the query is select asterisk from students like this and we are using your while loop and you can see we are using your one table okay and we will display that table in the browser cool so you can see the we have used your id name number and we are using our while loop cool like this and let me just call this let me just upload that file read.php here in my file manager go to the upload file just drag and drop that file and then upload it's fine now let me just call that it's working or not just click on the view and wait some seconds actually our query is not uh, reading that first row so maybe the uh, while loop problem okay i will resolve it uh, later so now uh, that's the read uh, read dot uh, php file so we just need to do one thing here to go to the mit app inventor here and okay make sure we yeah, we have done we we have to done update part we just need to go to the design in a button 9 it's the text box 9 and simply text box 9 dot text because we are passing the id here cool so just simply call this here and we just need to set that url like this and we just need to call this webkit that again this cool now we need to do the read part so do that go to the design and hide this one also like this and we have the vertical arrangement 4 and we have one web viewer here just call that url here read.php but whenever someone open that web page or you can say that whenever someone open that vertical arrangement 4 so we have to refresh that uh, uh, browser so so whenever someone click on that uh, vertical arrangement 1 you can see go to the just hide this one whenever someone click on that read button okay so and read button means button 2 so we just need to do one thing here read button 2 so let me just call it read button this one button 2 so whenever someone call that button 2 so we just need to call here 
we just need to hide that vertical arrangement uh, vertical arrangement one is like visible to false and then we have to make our vertical arrangement four should be true like this and then we just need to call one more thing here is so uh, is our vertical this one by viewer should be refresh or reload or you just say directly again go to home url like that this one and change that url to our read.php file cool this thing now we need to do more things here like we have to done the whenever someone click on create we have hide this and display this but now uh, you can see that we have one more thing here let me just go to the let me just do one thing here let me just hide everything so whenever someone click on button one create so we have to we have to enable this one vertical arrangement two and we have to hide this one so button one it means we gonna click on that button one so we can just simply call that again change that to button one and then we just need to delete this one this for not for it's for two cool and again we have to do for two more buttons like three or four maybe let me just make it three and this one is for button four so button four so button three is for this one is false but the button three is for vertical three uh, no i think let me just check that button three is for update okay and the update is where is our update uh, arrangement let me just check let me just confirm that this is the update yes vertical arrangement 3 is update so it's fine cool and the button 4 is which one so the button 4 it means that the delete so uh, yes uh, no it's a 4 so for delete button we need to just whenever someone click on button 4 so we have to open our vertical i think this one 3 yes vertical scroll arrangement we have to open so whenever someone click on button 4 so we have to vertical scroll arrangement this one should be visible on you can make it this one as a vertical arrangement i've just uh, used here this one so don't worry we have to make it enable this one okay wait a second it's fine we just need to call it here and just throw it and just delete this cool now everything is working here go to the create yes it's working but the back button is not working so we have to do all coding for that back button and it's simple we just need to repeat it arrangement one and now whenever someone go to the vertical arrangement two and they need to click on that back button okay here so it means button six whenever someone click on that button six cool so we have to call that we have to hide this and we have to enable the vertical arrangement one so whenever someone click on that button six this one cool so we need to just hide this one so let me just make it a little bit uh this one zoom out okay and i will make that one code as like this don't worry i will give you that uh, aia file also okay so don't need to worry and then just change that as like whenever someone click on button six it means back button so we need to hide the current current arrangement is which one is like this one is vertical arrangement two so we have to hide vertical arrangement two and we just need to enable we just need to make it vertical arrangement one should be true like this cool so we have to do again and again for all these uh, components like back button so if this is for uh, vertical arrangement two then this should be for vertical arrangement three like this so this is the back button this is the button button eight so just copy that change that to button eight and then again just make it uh three should be false and one should be true change that and make sure turn yes vertical arrangement three cool now for let me just do it for vertical arrangement four also so whenever someone okay let me just make it off whenever someone go to the vertical arrangement four and whenever they click on that back button it means button 11 so just copy and paste that and then button 11 is like this so we have to make or uh, this one is false which one is four and the one is true and whenever someone click on that which one that vertical scroll arrangement it means which one button let me just make it enable this and this is the back button is button 10 make sure to hide that one uh, vertical arrangement four 
this one and whenever someone click on that button 10 button 10 so uh, we need to choose button 10 click on that on that we just need to call it like this oh sorry or you can just directly copy paste that thing you don't need to just drag and drop everything just change that button 10 like this and we just need to delete that one first one and we need to hide that scroll arrangement visible this one this one should be here this one should be false or you just click on that and just type here in the your keyboard false and enter like this cool so now we have done the back part I have we have deleted uh, we have done the deleted part here so not read part we have done we have done that uh, the arrangement all that part we have done the insert part we have done the let me just check everything we have done the updated part we have done the insert oh why we have uh, done the updated part two times okay sorry that's the delete oh i'm sorry that that's the delete so make sure that is the delete.php file okay so don't be confused so that is the delete.php file right click on that click on view just copy that and then go to the MIT app inventor paste that file here okay and equal sorry question mark id equal we have done we have done the back part button and everything let me just try this it's working or not or you can just make sure uh visible of this one and make this vertical arrangement one like this and check how it's worth so whenever click on create okay go back read yours is reading the data go back click on update go back and then delete and then go back so everything is working actually it's not the uh, design properly you can make the design more attractive cool so thank you so much for watching this video if you need any help just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your all problem thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe and i will give you that aia file or uh, aia file or apk file both in my the coding bus app and in the the, the coding bus dot info website also